Hey guys, welcome back to Bad Tabletop Gaming. I'm Bill and I'm joined with a special guest, Arthur. Hey guys. We're going to be throwing down uh, new Sisters of Battle versus uh, Iron Warriors. I'm rocking out some new rules from the Psychic Awakening Book 2. Uh, it should be pretty good. I think it's going to be a good game. Uh, I'm loving these new Sisters rules. These Miracle Dice are bananas. I've got all these old metal models and a couple of new ones. I'm really excited to put them on the table. Oh, awesome. Yeah, it's going to be great, you guys. Uh, please, again, if you like what we're doing, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, all the comments you give us on our bat reps really help us to kind of steer the games and the channels and upcoming. Uh, a big uh, special thing is it's our first ITC game on the actual channel. That's okay, that's awesome. So, so we're doing Mission 3. Yeah. And uh, we, we picked up some secondaries. We'll get into that later, of course. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so it should be pretty exciting, and uh, yeah, enjoy the show. We'll roll into an army readout, and then we'll just give you an overview and roll off for our deployment. Or our C's, I guess. Yeah. Alright. Good luck. Alright, starting with my Iron Warriors Battalion. I'm rocking a Chaos Lord and Terminator armor. He is my Warlord. I'm running the new Siege Master Warlord trait. Uh, hopefully that'll... Uh, Help with some of those rerolls with my vehicles and havocs. Next up, I have a jump pack sorcerer, Mark of Slanish, with prescience and delightful agonies and combi bolter. I also have just a regular sorcerer, Mark of Nurgle, with warp time and death hex with a combi bolter. I am also running three identical squads of five Chaos Space Marines. Each squad has bolters and the one. Reaper Chain Cannon. I'm running a 18-man squad of cultists, uh, all with auto cannons. I have a five-man squad of Chaos Spawn. I have my Leviathan with double butcher cannons and Hellflamers. I've also got my squad of Havocs with four auto cannons. Uh, sergeant just as is, bolter or bull pistol and chainsword. Then jumping over to my vanguard, I have a Chaos Lord Terminator armor again. I'm also rocking out a Hellforge Contemptor with twin last cannons. Another Hellforge Contemptor with double carries assault cannons. And another Hellforge Contemptor with double fists with soul burners. And last but not least, I'm rocking a Hellforge Sakarian with Heavy Bolt response ins and the Accelerator uh, for a total of 9 CP. Alright, hey guys, take a look at the sisters here. We got a Bertade detachment of Valorous Heart. It's led by Celestine. And we got another Canonist there. And uh, she's got the Blessed Blade and a Bolt Pistol. And I took a uh, the Warlord trait Indomitable Belief and an extra relic to make my bolt pistol really good. The uh, Wrath of the Emperor. There is a second canonist, armed as is. From then on, we got six squads of battle sisters, five women apiece, with two storm bolters and a combi melta in every squad. After that, we got three imagifiers. They're all rocking Tale of the Stoic to give that AP minus one into AP minus two equals zero. That nasty, nasty bubble. From then on, we got three exorcists filling out the heavies and a pair of penitent engines and three squads of seraphim rocking four melta pistols apiece. After that, we got a second detachment led by another canoness. She's got the blessed blade and an infernal pistol. And uh, she was the warlord here rocking beacon of faith and uh, the air relic litanies of faith. And to fill out that detachment, we got three squads of retributors all with four heavy bolters. Uh, all together we were rocking 16 command points. Alright guys, so I'm getting plus one to go first because I finished deploying first, and here's the roll off. Five, I need a six! No miracles. Ooh, okay. Uh, attempt to seize? Yep. Alright, well here's the seize. Oh, so close. So close.
Alright, so Iron Warriors, turn one. Just found out the cultists around here. Going to try and protect those Havocs a little bit. Havocs moved up. The Lord's moving up to try and give his aura as much as I can. Sikarin and the other Contemptor. Going to try and get a bead on some of these units in the backfield there. We'll see. Leviathan advanced up. The Marines and everything else on the other flank just moved up to push up. Try and be a little aggressive. And uh, we'll see how the psychic phase goes. Virgo Sorcerer going warp time on the spawn. It does go on a 7. So let it roll. Let me get another free move. Alright, so for my jump back Sorcerer, I'm going to cast Delightful Agonies on the spawn. It does go. What does that do there, Bill? It pretty much lets them ignore wounds on 5s and 6s. Okay, so we're going to... Uh, goes on a 7. Sisters can try the 9 on a 6. I can't possibly get it. But now that we've tried the deny, I can pop a stratagem to uh, take a unit within 24 of you, so any one of these guys, and on a 4-up, I can deny that spell. Nice. So we're going to roll for here. Here's our command point to spend it. Okay. And on a 4-up, no spell. Denied. Last spell from the sorcerer here. I'm going to cast Prescience on these Marines for a 7, and it does not go. All right, these Chaos Space Marines are going to be firing into the Sisters with the Heavy Chain Cannon. I uh, got heavy eight, looking for fours because I did move. And strength five, T three, looking for threes. Ooh, only two. Yikes, dude, that's some pretty bad rolls. It's What's only, the AP on that? It's only minus one. Okay, so because I'm uh, Valorous Heart, AP minus one is shooting to AP zero, so we got some full armor saves. We path both. Perfect. All right, continuing on, I'm just gonna fire this uh, Contemptor. Well, what about your bolters? This might be in range, eh? Yeah, let's get some bolters. Oh, yeah, there. I guess so. Yeah, bolter power. Definitely. Four bolters. Or three, I guess, over is in there. Yeah, four, two, and looking for threes for two. We're good on both. Perfect. All right. Yeah, the Contemptor, I'm going to fire the double soul burners into that center exorcist. Yeah, so two to three shots. I will CP this one, just to roll it, doesn't matter, wow, uh, so three, looking for twos, uh, that's three mortal wounds. Three mortal wounds, Yes, up. sir. Okay, well I got a six up, feel no pain, we're going to try okay. to make, I will make none, so I take three. Alright, so that Contemptor of the Twin Laz is going to fire at that wounded Exorcist, looking for threes, and strength nine, T. T8. T8, okay, it's looking for threes. For one wound, minus three. Okay, so I'll take my six up uh, invol here. Uh, that'll be a pass. Nice. Yeah, shield of faith. All right, these Iron Warrior Havocs. I'm gonna fire down the range of these sisters in front. I got eight shots. We're rolling the one from the Chaos Lord. And strength seven, T3. T3, so twos. Looking for twos. Is that seven of them? Yes, sir. Steal one of those from you. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, I'm looking for straight threes. Now it looks like four go through. I got a six up, feel a little pain. Uh, so three die. So uh, Sakarin is going to fire all its heavy bolters at those two lone sisters. And then the accelerated turret will fire at that middle exorcist. So the heavy bolters, looking for fours, re-rolling the one, for four, and looking for threes. You betcha. And re-roll the one to wound. So three wounds coming up. Uh, I ignore AP minus one, uh, so I'll take one. I got a six up feel of pain, and I will take it. All right, that accelerator turret, same deal into the uh, exorcist tank. Looking for fours. Strength eight, T8. Looking for fours. For two. It's only okay. minus one. Okay, so I don't care about minus one, so looking for three ups, fail one. How many wounds is that? Uh, two damage. Okay, feel the pains. I'll take both. All right, end of my shooting. I'm gonna spend two for endless cacophony on the Havocs, try and go after that lone sister at the downrange. So, Havocs, firing, rule one from a Chaos Lord, shrink 7 T3, looking for twos. 
for a five. All right. Uh, looks like three are going through, so we're going to take the old six up little pings, and we're going down. So starting my turn, because I have a relic, I get to roll for a miracle dice. Uh, I don't like it, so I got another relic, which lets me re-roll it. Four. Nice. So these penetrant engines advanced up. Uh, they can't charge this turn, but they're presenting a threat. All the sisters moved up. We've consolidated onto the objective. Exorcists take place. And we used our uh, first miracle of the game to guarantee a four-inch advance to be able to contest this objective. Okay, so start of the sisters' turn. I'm going to actually use a strat for two points. I'm going to put cannon fodder on these cultists. So, and I'm going to nominate the Havoc squad. So the Havocs can't be targeted unless they are the closest visible unit for the shooting phase. So we pop some command points by using devastating frame here. So when I roll my D3 missiles, I can reroll them. So this exorcist is going into the uh, dread there. So here's my missiles, uh, three, three, and I can reroll any or all. So I'm going to reroll this D1 for it's still one. So three, six, seven shots coming in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, looking for threes. Uh, we're rolling ones from a cannonist nearby. Hey, everybody hits. What's your toughness? T7. So looking for threes again. Uh, all right, five wounds at 80 minus three. Ooh, minus three, nasty. What's the damage on these? It's D6. Ooh, okay. Uh, um, heavy bolters going into the Marines too. Okay, so yeah, five up, looking for my vulnerables. Oh, I should make a couple. Make two, but I take three. Okay, so we're going to use our first miracle for the phase. One of these damage is going to be auto six. Okay. Here's the other ones for seven. Seven, 13 total. I am going to pop another point for iron within, iron without. Let's me ignore these on sixes. So let's check this out. All right, come on, sixes. Oh, not enough. Does it explode? Don't know. It does not. He's good. Uh, heavy bolters from the same tank coming into the Marines. Three hits. And one wound. For that sweet minus one, right? Yeah, one heavy bolter, you bet. For that four, he's all good. Yeah. All right, for this exorcist, which I'm still in my awesome bracket, we're going to do the big guns into the dread and the little guns into the marines. So 3d3 shots coming into the dread for three, four, five, six shots. Looking for threes to hit. Rerolling ones for my cannonists. Lots of hits. Nice. And your toughness? Seven. So threes again. Two wounds on that guy. Two. Come on, five ups. Nope. Ooh. Snake All right. Damn. Seven damage. Okay. Okay. And here's the heavy bolters coming into the Marines for two hits and one wound. Over that four. Good go. I wanted to get those Havocs in the backfield, but Bill popped a strat. I don't have any other good targets on him, so I guess we're looking for cultists and uh, heavy bolters out of range. So 3d3 shots coming at the cultists for uh, 3, 6, 7, 8. And looking for twos to squish. Fair bit of twos. Four, seven. Okay. Yeah, sorry, that was just my hits there, which is actually quite poor. Rerolling the one from the cannonists. I got uh, two wounds, or two hits going through, so looking for wounds for uh, two wounds. Dead cultists. Another stratagem here to give these sisters uh, blessed bolts which makes their Storm Bolters AP-2, D2. So we're going after Marines with uh, two Storm Bolters, three Bolters. Uh, Rerolling ones because I'm within Canonist range. Didn't matter. So two Storm Bolters, or yeah, two Storm Bolters, three Bolters hit. And uh, two wounds on Bolters and two AP-2 wounds on Storm Bolters. Okay, so the regular Bolters, I'm losing one and minus two from the Storm Bolters. Yeah. Oh, losing three. All right. Okay. Roll the miracle for killing the exorcist or the uh, the dread with the exorcist earlier turned out to be a five. So we're gonna start pumping heavy bolter shots into the spawn. The first unit of five heavy bolters are coming in. I popped another strat here. This one lets me add one to hit rolls onto the heavy bolters. We're storm of retribution. So looking for twos on these spawn. Uh, we are in cannonist range. So we're rolling these ones. Almost everything I hit, not quite. And uh, top spawner T5? Yes, sir. So looking for fives. Or fours, fives, and sixes, my bad. And uh, looks like six wounds. Yep. Looking for sixes. Well, I made a couple. But a spawn does die. 
So I'm going to do a split shot here. Two heavy bolters can't see the spawn, so they're going to go into the marines. And the other two heavy bolters that can see are going to go into the spawn. So here are the spawn. Uh, we're out of cannonist range here, so I don't get to reroll those ones. But three wounds. Very nice. Come on, sixes. Nope, another spawn goes down. And here are the shots into the marines. Or four wounds. Move for fours. One guy, take that nasty sergeant off. Yep. Last year, heavy bolters, everybody's dumping into the spawn. So it looks like all but one hit. I like the dice, Bill. Yeah, they pop pretty nice. And they're rolling pretty good for they you. They are rolling pretty good for me. All right, fours, fives, and sixes again on spawn, which means I got five wounds. Okay, look for those sixes. Come on, baby. Oh, there we go. We made some. Spawn don't die. Take wounds on this guy, though. Got one left. So these five sisters here can't see any spawn, so they're going into the lonely Chaos Space Marine left. I can reroll the one because I got a Cannonus, so we are fairly accurate. That's two Storm Boulders and three Boulders coming in, and uh, for two wounds. Come on, baby. Oh, he's Beautiful. good. Okay, I got five more, same target coming in. Cannonus reroll, doesn't matter. One wound. Good. He's good. All right, so end of shooting. I do have to do morale over here. I lost the four. So let's check it out. Leadership eight. Ooh. Gone. CPA because I want to live. Come on, baby. Oh, He's good. We're He's good. Nice. All right, turn two. Havocs and the cultists move up just to kind of span out a bit. Marines are jumping up inside the cover. These Marines decided to advance up. My little hate bubble over here. Gonna try and get some beads and use this line of sight blocking for my advantage and kill a bunch of these sisters. The Dread's gonna try and take out those ones just over there. And then over here, my spawn got completely blown away, so I'm gonna try and get into combat and tie them up as much as possible. Hopefully I'll be able to uh, get some stuff off on them. So. All right, all right. So delightful agonies. Oh, also my movement phase. I did spend uh, one CP on that dreadnought to bump him up three wounds. I used that unholy vigor from the uh, new book. Okay, so yeah, delightful agonies onto the spawn. Looking for not that. That really sucks. Ah, oh, boy. I'll CP my last CP just because I would like to really get it off. It does, I believe. It does. Okay, we're gonna uh, attempt to deny. Uh, I can't possibly deny with that, but I'm going to spend a command point so on a four up. I can deny that, and it's gone. Okay. That's the stratagem purity of faith uh, special to sisters. Use it when the enemy psyker model manifests a power within 24 of a uh, adeptus sororitas unit. After any deny the witch attempt, which I made, uh, roll one d6 on a four up. That power is resisted. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Okay, uh, over here from the Slingish guy again onto Leviathan. I'll do Prescience. It does not go. From the Mark of Nurgle Sorcerer, I'm going to do Death Hex onto this squad of sisters. Uh, hopefully, try to get rid of that invulnerable save. So, Looking for a Warp Charge 8, though. It oh, does go on just eight. Guess it, yeah. So I'll just leave a dice there. And I am not in range of anything extra fancy, so I'll use my last dice just to uh, smite that close squad there. It does go on five. All right, now I get a chance to deny on a. I got it. Oh, it denies. And I'm gonna get a miracle dice from that. Oh. Which is a four. Nice. So I'm going to pop a stratagem there, because I resisted a power of purity, I can spend one command point, and uh, I can generate D3 Miracle Dice instead. So I'll generate three, and here are the other two Miracle Dice rolls, a five and a five. Ooh. <whistles> All right, kicking into shooting, Havocs. Going to fire downrange again at that hurt exorcist. exorcist. Yeah. Looking for threes, re-rolling ones from the Lord though, which is nice. 
And T8, you say? T8. Look for those fives, man. It's not terrible. So Three of them. Three going through. I'm going to save one, or I'll save two. One goes through. And my six up, feel no pain. Uh, damage two. So two. Damage two. Oh, two six up, feel no pains. Two damage go through. Okay. All right, so from the Contemptor into these sisters, I got the double carries. Looking for, uh, looking for threes. Rerolling ones from the Lord. And looking for strength six, T3, looking for twos. Rerolling ones from Siege Master for eight. What's the AP minus one? Minus one. Okay, so we ignore it and we just get to make some three ups. And then what's the dam on those? Dam is just one. Okay, so six up, feel no pains. Pass one, fail one. So I'm going to lose a bolter. Nice. I will fire Kami Bolter from the Terminator Lord. On a, uh, I have a uh, Spear of the Martyr here. Oh, okay. So when a model with uh, Spear of the Martyr is destroyed, uh, roll a d6 on a 5 up, I can shoot. Uh, I cannot shoot. Okay. So yeah, the uh, Lord is going to fire at those sisters as well. For 4 hits. And strength four, T three, looking for threes. Ooh, one. We're good. Yep, no problem. The two twin last cannon guy firing at that extra cyst in the middle again. Get him. Alright, come on buddy, looking for twos. There you go. So you're not bracketed at all, hey? No, I I'm I'm back up to six Beautiful. Ones, so. Uh looking for threes with those last cannons. Ooh. For two. Okay, so six up involves here. Gonna fail both, roll your damn. 2d6, come on baby. Eight total. All right. Now six up, feel no pains here. I'm gonna save two, but enough we're gonna go through, uh, exactly enough, to uh, see if I explode. Oh. Let's find out. Oh! I'm gonna command point that, because I don't want to give up a bunch of guys. <laughs> so let's try that again. There oh. we go. But we get a Spirit of the Martyr check here. On a five up, I get to shoot, I do. Uh, we got to use our worst bracket though, so we're going to shoot. Um, spawn. Okay. So 3d3 three three shots. Uh, one, two, three, four. And fives and sixes. So one. And that's not a wound. A, still, pretty nice mechanic. All right, so Leviathan is gonna fire up at these uh, squad of sisters, the bolter guys in the front there. Yes, sir. The butcher cannons. Uh, I did move, so I'm looking for threes. We're only ones from the Lord. Not horrible. And these are at strength eight. So twos to squish. For twos. We're only ones from Siege Master. A bunch. All right, that's AP minus. Minus one. Oh, don't care. Looking for f f straight armor. Uh, looks like I'm gonna fail three here. Oh. Four. So one. Oh, I got feel no pains. What's the damage on those? It is damage two. Damage two on each. Yes, sir. All right, we'll roll them up. The first one, second one, third one, and fourth one. Four sisters are gonna die. Okay, so on a five up, I get to do some shooting back. Here are the two heavy bolters, neither of which, and here are the two bolters. One. So one bolter is going to go into this lone marine right here. It's a hit, and not a wound. Cool. Okay, from this Sakarin, I'm going to fire the three heavy bolters into the Seraphim and the accelerated turret into this upper level of Retributors. Retributors, right? Yep. Yeah. Good for you for remembering the names. Yeah, see, we're learning. All right, heavy bolters into the Seraphim. All right, ooh, re-rolling for the ones there from the Lord. Drink five T3, gotcha. for those threes. Well, all of them. All right, AP minus. Minus one. Don't care. So it looks like we're gonna fail two. Here's a few pains, one damage each. Yes, sir. Fail both, so it's gonna oh. be two dead Seraphim. Nice. 
Okay, continuing on. That accelerator turret into those retributors. Same dealy, rolling for the Lord. Oh, one here I didn't see. Strength eight, looking for twos. There's five, minus one. All right, we're in cover, so we're looking for those sweet two ups. Ooh. Pass everything. Beauty. All right, Reaper chain cannon, gonna fire into those Seraphim as well. He didn't move. All hit. Uh, strength five, looking for those threes. Wow, all of them. Minus one, but don't matter. Oh no. Looks like we're losing four, maybe. We got some feeling of pains, though. We're losing the squad. Oh wow. All right, so the sorcerer here and the sorcerer here, you're gonna fire the combi bolters into this squad. Looking for threes. And looking for threes. For one. We're good. And it didn't matter. And I think that is pretty much it for my shooting. I do have some charges. All right, over here, I am going to assault the Death Hex squad and the squad beside it. Okay, so I got some Overwatch coming at you. Yep. All right, here's the first squad coming in. Purple Dice is a melt again. Otherwise, we've got Bolters and Storm Bolters. So it looks like we're going to have uh, two Bolter hits and a melt gun hit. So, Bolters needing fives and sixes to wound. Uh, two wounds wow. and a melt gun, another wound. Wow. The Bolters. Wow, I actually make that, but that I can't save the Melta. You know what? We're going to throw a Miracle Dice here in. How many wounds are left on your last uh, spawn? One. Never mind. We're going to roll a dice. Take two. <laughs> <laughs> All right, lots of shots coming up. Uh, looks like one melted gun's gonna hit. Uh, now I got a stratagem here where I can huck out a miracle dice. Let me pull it out. It's a pretty cool one. Might be one of the most powerful one sister ones. One bolter? One bolter hits, yeah, we'll do the wound. Uh, that'll not wound. Okay. And the melted hits on fives? Yeah, it's going to. Oh. All right, so moment of grace. Use the stratagem after making a hit roll or wound roll for an attack made by an Adeptus or model. Uh, discard one to three Miracle Dice. Add one to the result of the roll for each Miracle Dice you discard. So I'm going to discard this one. Ooh. And now it's a six. The Melty Gun hits. Wow. Okay. And looking for the wound. It's a wound. Okay. What's the damage? Uh, I haven't rolled any uh, Miracles for Dam. No. Or use any Miracles this phase. So we're going to use a flat five. Flat five. Okay. Flat five. Get in there for five. Kills him. Nice. All right, so Spawn gonna try and get in there with six, no prob. All right, five, fight phase with my Chaos Spawn. Let's see what happens on that D3 result. All right, so they get to add plus two to their attack characteristics and it's D6. So they get a total of eight, which Damn. is nice. It's a good thing there's only one. Yeah. Uh, I will throw these against the non-invulnerable save sisters. Yep. So looking for fours. These are at strength five. So, so looking for threes. Oh, two. AP minus on those? It is minus two. All right, so we got the magic fire here within six. Means we're stacking those buffs to get the uh, ignores minus two. So we're going to make one save. The other one's going to fail. Is that a one damage? It is two damage. All right, here's our funeral pains. Uh, both going to fail. So we're gonna lose a model. Okay, so we're gonna do both squads together here. I got a bunch of strength three attacks coming in. Uh, we need actually fours to hit. So basic sisters are not great in combat. And then we're only got our uh, strength three slaps. So a single wound. All right, come on, five up, baby. Oh no, take one anyways. Get there. Take one anyways, three left. All right, so we're all phase coming on. He's killed five units from this sister squad. Uh, I don't really want to roll morale because that's a commie melt and I'd like to keep it. So we're just going to take one of these dice right here. Say it's a, ooh, actually, four. Plus four would be eight. I got my sister superior. We're good. Miracle Perfect. Dice passed. So the first thing's first. Uh, these guys are going to pop deadly descent. So as they come down, they get to double the range on their pistols. We're going to put four melted pistol shots into this guy and uh, six bolter pistol shots into the, those marines. So here are the melted pistol shots. Uh, yikes, Bill, your dice are bad. So, <laughs> one hit and a wound. All right, five plus vulnerable. No. 
No. Okay, damage. It's going to be a five. Of course it is. These miracle dice. All right, one wound left. And uh, the bolt pistol's coming in. We got six shots at the Marines over here for three hits. One wound. Good. There we go. Uh, otherwise, in movement, we fell back out of combat in here. We went on to the objective, and everybody else moved up. We got some kick ass characters surrounding the spawn, so he's sure to go down. And Celestine took a big jump over here, maybe gonna tie some stuff up in combat. First up, we got a melted pistol from this cannonist into there. So it's a rerolling ones because I'm a cannonist. Uh, I do hit on two, it's an awesome ballistic skill. And that'd be a melted wound. It does wound. Got three left. Uh, no saves on that guy, so it looks like it's three wounds. Oh. So we got uh, a pistol coming in from uh, this cannon is here. It's a relic pistol, so it is four shots, 18 inch range, strength five, AP minus two, two dam, and it's coming into this guy that has eluded me thus far. So it looks like four hits, looking for threes. That is four wounds at minus two. No, he is done. All right, uh, I'm gonna generate a miracle dice for a killing unit with an Ortis unit. It's a six. Nice. So calm me melt up from here into this character. Uh, Rerolling ones from cannabis range. Looks like we're hitting and we're wounding. Hmm. <laughs> Got an impulse save on him, don't you? Sorcerer for sure. He should actually. Actually, yeah, he should. I should know this too. I'm a bad player. I'm gonna have to make sure I edit this part. I think it's maybe actually a five. Straight down. Yep. Six. All right. Star bolter. Star bolter. 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 This squad here. Star bolter. Star bolter. 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 Coming in. Uh, lots of hits. What's the toughness on this guy? T4. You see four. So looking like three wounds. Three out. He's good. You're laughing. All right, um, my heavy bolters will call hold for a second. We'll do the exorcist here that moved to try to finish off the uh, dread over here. So I got three D3 shots. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're looking for fours to hit. Uh, we're rolling ones because I got a cannonist back there. So three hits and threes to wound, two wounds. Move for five up. Nope. All right, damage is six. Oh, he is so dead. Does he explode? No. Does not. This exorcist here is a little uh, hard of seeing, so we're actually going to come over into the bolter guys here. We don't really got much other range, and the heavy bolter can't really get anything. So 3d3 shots. So three, four, five, six. I think it's really important here to note that these guys used to just be flat d6 shots, and the 3d3 makes them a lot more accurate. They're oh, I bet, yes. Yeah. So lots of hits. And uh, it'll be five wounds on boulders. Uh, T5 on, oh, yeah, that's on right. the Havocs. Yeah. Four so wounds four. on. Minus what? Three. Oh. Come on, sixes. Nope. No. So I'm losing four. Gnarly. No. So the uh, blue squad of heavy boulders there are coming into this character. You know, he's not going to be the closest. So we're going to have to drill the corner of this Sikarin. Mm. Uh, let's super Coxwell reroll that. These twos are no good. And I will not be in cannonist range for the one. T7. So fives and sixes. For three wounds. Okay. Minus one. Take two. All right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The next squad of heavy bolters are coming in for the same target. We're going to keep pounding the side of that sticker in. Uh, not within cannon this range here. Fives and sixes. So just a solo wound there. Good. You're good. And uh, the last one. 
Uh, we're actually going to go right into them again. For uh, four ones. Take another three. Took five off them. Yep, we got nine left. All right, we're going to uh, wrap the last of the shooting up with uh, these sisters here into there. So we're going to have two storm bolters and a combi melta, a regular bolter. And we are just within 12 there, so it's going to be a little bit better. So combi melta is a hit, but it's not a wound. Um, we're going to try to re-roll this dice. Actually, we're going to spend one command point for a stratagem where I can hop out a miracle dice and add one to that roll. Nice. So now that Melta, it's a hit. Or that would have been a wound. It would be a wound, It'd yeah. A wound. So, so rolls them down. Nope, goes through. And we're looking at five wounds. Okay. Got five left. And then Storm Bolter, Storm Bolter. One more of these ones, you betcha. And the Bolters. For two. Wow. Bolters got there. All right, that's it for shooting, so we'll go into combat. Okay. So Celestine's gonna pop Holy Rage, one command point, to let me charge after I advance this turn, so she's gonna just charge the uh, tank here. All right, Overwatch, let's hope for some good stuff. Couple sixes at least. Uh, you know, she's T3 too. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Yeah. So one. Well, that was a three there, right? Would that go that, through? That was a two. Okay, yeah. perfect. Uh, four of invul, let's say whatever that was. Okay. And then the accelerator turret for two. Strength eight, looking for twos. Two more, minus one. Okay, so we're looking for three up armors here. And we'll pass one, fail one. Not two damage. Two damage on that. I don't actually get to make any fancy female pains for this, because she doesn't have an order. So she's taken two. Okay. Now we're going to come in for the charge. We're actually going to use these Miracle Dice here for a sweet 11-inch charge. And we're going to come around this way. And we're not going to touch. We're going to move right into there. And then as I pile in, we're going to get into the Leviathan too. Very nice. So all fight first. Celestine has six attacks. They all have to go with the tank. Okay. She hits on twos. She doesn't get to reroll any ones. And, uh, oh, there's another one in there. Oh, perfect. Good eye. And your toughness, seven on that seven, yeah. So fives and sixes to wound, nothing. Okay. All right, striking back, my Sakarin has four attacks, believe it or not. And because oh, it's health forged. Plus one for uh, Heretic of Stardis. Yeah. Which is cool. Uh, looking for fours to, sorry, looking for fives to hit. Yeah, only one. And it is strength six, uh, T3, T3 so two for twos. One wound at minus three. Oh, and I made a two up armor over here. At minus three? Oh, no, sorry, yeah. I did not make, the Sakaran has minus three? Infernal Hunger, yeah. Damn, okay, yeah, how much? Just one damage. All right, I take a crazy. damage. Nothing crazy. Okay, the Leviathan, same deal. Uh, starts with four, gets five for uh, Hateful Assault. Yep. And he is looking for twos. We're rolling one from the Chaos Lord. And he is base strength eight, looking for twos. For five. Uh, no no minus or anything. He's just playing Jane. Straight two up armors here. Uh, everything but one. Nice. So taking one. All right, so morale here on my Lone Havoc. Let's see, looking for a three, always good. All right, so turn three, kind of just bundled up a little bit. Everyone else pretty much stayed put. I'm gonna try and take out some of these sisters here, some of these guys in my back line. Ended up falling back away from the Saint here, and I'll try and gauge, engage it with my Chaos Lord and my Sorcerer who's hiding up under there. All right, for Psychic Phase, I'll cast Prescience on myself. Look at that sweet six. It goes on Can't nine. Can't deny it. You're good. OK. 
Okay. And then I'll use my last spell to smite her. Goes on nine. Smite away. D3. For three. Uh, three more uh, Yep, yeah, so that's going to kill her. Okay. And at the end of the phase, she'll make a roll to see if she comes back. Ooh, okay, nice. Anything else in the psychic phase? That's it for psychic phase. Yeah, so does she come back in the phase? She does. Nice. Close to this pot, but all her wounds remaining. Uh, that will count as a kill for you. Okay. Sweet. Alright, uh, shooting phase. Let's just hop right into it. Uh, from the Terminator, he'll fire Kami Bolter into her. We're rolling because I'm a lord. And looking for threes. Oh, just one. Ting, no problem. Good. Kami Bolter from the Sorcerer underneath there, same deal, but I did move for only one, one wound. We're good. Okay. All right. Uh, over here, I'm going to fire the Reaper Chain Cannon and then double tap the four Bolter guys over here. Chain Cannon, looking for threes. Strength five, looking for threes. Not horrible for five. Maybe minus one on that? Yep. So full power armor here. We're good. Of course. Damn. So good. It honestly feels like playing seven because <laughs> I get to make all these power armor saves. <laughs> uh, the bolters firing in. Move threes again. Just power armor. Power armor's good. Wow. As you can see, power armor is. The new hot. Uh, this squad up here, gonna do the same thing, but into that far sister squad. So the uh, Reaper Chain Cannon, for eight shots. Ooh. You're, you're within. Oh yeah, the Lord is there, yeah. Had to double check. All hit, strength five. Looking for threes. Oh, decent. Do you reroll your ones? No, uh, that was with the other guy. Just on vehicles? Yeah. All right, uh, I'm gonna fail three here. Okay. But I got feel no pains on a six for being Valorous Heart, so I'm gonna fail two. Okay, nice. And then continuing the bolter power. Those four bolter guys are gonna double tap. A lot of twos, not a lot of ones. For two more saves, please. Alright, power armor. We're good. Nice. The power over save counter for the turn is 12. <laughs> yeah, pretty good. All right, uh, little bits of shooting. What do I got left here? I got, I'll fire the auto cannon into those two sisters. Mm -hmm. Reroll for the Lord. And one wound. We're good. Wow. And Three. combi bolter from that Terminator right here into that squad for four, for threes, or, yeah, threes. Wow. 16. Wow, yeah, man, that's awesome. Hmm, I will see. What do you get for cultists? So all those guys are in range. Cultists have 24 inch sh yeah. shots. Uh, so, not that guy that Okay, minus one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Yeah, and everyone else can see pretty much. Okay, so 12 dudes. Oop. Uh, gonna fire these two, two lone sisters. Rerolling the one. Feel no pains. Yeah. Oh. Make one, so I got one left. Wow. <laughs> and yeah, you were able to weather my shooting quite nicely. All right. So charge phase. I'll charge the Chaos Lord into the Saint first. All right. So I got the uh, Ardent Sword. We're throwing. We got three auto hits. Strength five. So it looks like two AP minus one wounds. And for that three up. You're good. He's golden. Chaos Lord. 
he's in and then the uh, sorcerer no problem nice all right fight phase uh, chaos lord gonna try and hit her I'm using my power fist on so minus one reroll and strength eight looking for twos, twos for four all right, so we're looking for straight up, four up in wall saves here. We're gonna pass two and we're gonna fail two. Oh, damn. Two, D3. Total of three. All right, now Celestine does actually get the six up, feel a little pain here. She doesn't have an order, but she is an Adeptus Sororitas. Nothing. So I take three. Okay. And from my Sorcerer, he's looking for threes. Oh, nice, hit them all. Sword is just strength four, so user. So looking for threes for two at minus three. All right, so four up you or in ball again. We're good. Perfect. Uh, you strike back. All right, talk to me. What do you what do you offer saves on these guys? Four plus invulnerable. Two plus four plus on the terminator. Yeah. And on the sorcerer, just the three plus armor. Okay, we're going for the sorcerer here. All six attacks coming straight in. Looking for twos. Don't get any rerolls. I will be strength seven. T4. Uh, so two wounds at minus, I believe minus two. Let me double check that. No worries. Made a mistake earlier when I charged the tank. Forgot that she's strength seven. Uh, it is AV minus three. Oh, looking for sixes. Nope. Okay, four damage total. Four total pops the sorcerer. Does he not have five wounds? No, only four. The so the Terminator guys have five. Gotcha. So morale for me over here one and actually I get a miracle off that. Anytime you roll a unmodified one for morale saves, you get to generate a miracle dice, and I like that. I'm gonna keep it. All right, so lots of movement coming up again. The uh, or the red tide moves up. Big advance here. Very little advance there. We moved some of the uh, retributors out of the ruin and kind of over to get some shots. And uh, we got some Seraphim gonna come down here. We're gonna pop a stratagem to make them shoot. And our Seraphim here moved up and we got some Melted Pistols on the other side of the wall to maybe pop some wounds off that Leviathan. Oh, very sneaky. Look so we spent that command point. We're doing the stratagem. They're coming down, they're shooting. We're gonna do four Melted Shots into uh, this guy here. And uh, one, two, three, six bolt, or sure, six bolt pistol shots into the Cultists. Okay. All right, so here's the melt of shots. Three hits. T7 on that dread? Yes, sir. One wound, sir. I'm looking for five up and vulnerable. Oh, oh he makes it. Okay, and then a bunch of bolt pistols. Into cultists for two wounds. No, uh, two guys die. You don't get a six up? No, only, they have a seven up, so oh. they have, they have <laughs> to be in cover, yeah. Gotcha. Well, let's move right into shooting then. Uh, four melter guns, melter pistols into the Leviathan, and six uh, bolt pistols into the Marines here. Okay. So we got the melter guns, uh, three hits, the one is no good, and T8. three wounds. Ooh. Come on, five up. No, make one, take two. Um, how many wounds do you have total on that guy? That thing is full health. Okay, so we're gonna do miracles here, and our two wounds, we're gonna substitute two dice in for and get nine wounds on them. Oh, okay, nine damage total. Nine damage in on them. And then we'll do bolt pistols into the Marines. So, five hits. And two, two wounds. Wow, two Marines down. The Kami Melta into the Dread, uh, looking to hit. It's a hit, looking a wound, it's a wound. Come on, five. No. Oh, survey says four damage. It's enough to take out his last. Does he explode? Oh, he does. Oh, he's going. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Well, you could kill Celestine, maybe. It could. D3 on my Sakarin for three. It's two. Mm. Oh, two. sorry, yeah, for two, sorry. Uh, D3 on my champion for one. D3 on the Saint for three. Oh, that's kind of cocked. For two. All right, feel the pains on the saint. Pass both. And then on my Leviathan, one. Man, that hurt. Two. 
All right, we'll go over to the Exorcist now. The uh, the one on the left wants to pop some shots into these guys hiding out in the cover. So three d three shots coming in for three six seven eight. Looking for threes. Uh, I have a Canonus, but there's no there's a single one to reroll. Two ones to reroll. All right, so looking like five hits. Uh, two's to wound. No, are they T5? No, they're T4. T4, yeah. So four wounds, minus three. Get some sweet cover save and armor. Come on, baby. Oh! <laughs> Look at that. That is Ooh. extra bad. Four, four guys. So we're going to kill everyone but the chain cannon, because chain cannons are life. Uh, heavy bolt is out of range, so I got the other guy, and uh, he's going to fire at this lone dude here, try to score some points. These chain cannons are really, really hurting me. So we got... Uh, three, six, seven shots coming in. Four, five, six, seven. Uh, really, one's from the Canonists. And are you T4 in him? T5. T5. So three wounds. Nope, he's done. He's done, these. So we get a miracle place because we killed this guy here this turn, forgot to roll it. It's a five. Nice. These sisters here are uh, going to charge into that Sakaran, so let's uh, see if they make it. They're looking for a 7. That's a 7. Yep, so no problem. The butt of that. And here are some sister slaps looking for 4s to hit. And then 6s uh, to wound. Uh, one wound. Of course. So of course. He's good. Doesn't get there. <laughs> He's good. Uh, next combat will be Celestine. She's got her rock and 6 attacks coming in at strength 7, looking for 2s to hit. 1s are no good. And then there'll be threes to wound here for uh, a single wound. Ooh. Four up and vulnerable. You're good. All right. Okay, I guess first things first, I'll do that uh, Sakarin. He's got, he's still full, so I'll do four or five for hateful. Uh, looking for fives. No. Well, that was kind of, oh, the Lord. Yeah, yeah. No. No. Didn't matter. Uh, over here, the Lord attacking back, looking for those threes, looking for twos. So four up involves here. I'll pass two, fail one. So I need you not to roll a three. Ugh. Oh, okay, no we got that how. six up, feel no pain. Oh boy. Where's your miracle dice now, huh? Don't need them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so morale. Uh, I lost four from that squad. I'm an eight. Nope. And that squad only lost two, so they're fine. All right, on to scoring. Okay, Iron Warrior fans, it's looking a little ugly. Uh, the Zakarian fell back to try and drop on that objective. These Marines just kind of turned around to unload on these sisters in the back. Leviathan's going to try and uh, move up there. And I just huddled to protect the Lord, try and get some shots and kill off some stuff. So we'll roll. Uh, right into shooting. All right, first things first. Uh, Leviathan gonna fire those hell flamers. Got seven shots. I rolled off camera, so strength five. Get to reroll the ones though. All right. He's normally AP minus one, but being valorous heart, we don't care about that. So we're gonna lose uh, two guys. Then we got that six up, feel no pain, and we're gonna pass one and fail the other. Nice. Okay, uh, firing the butcher cannons into that same squad, looking for threes, and they did move to looking for fours. Rerolling ones. That one's pretty cocked. It looks a little weird. Yeah. For the one, nope. Oh. Okay, so strength eight, looking for twos. Oh. 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 These are AP minus two. These are minus one. Minus one, so I actually get full power armor here. <laughs> yeah. Brutal, dude. Uh, it's not going to matter. I'm going to lose enough guys that even these feel no pains aren't going to save my life. No, they're gone. Um, but we get to make some uh, martyred. Oh, yeah. We forget about that. So we got uh, a melting gun on a five up. It can shoot. It cannot. And there was three boulders you killed. Uh, one bolter. So bolter coming back at you. It's got two hits and a single wound. Up. He's good. All right, it's Chaos Marines. Uh, Reaper chain cannon. Gonna fire into them, and then the Marines will rapid fire. 
Strength five, looking for three. Two, but feel no pains. Are these two each? Uh, these are just regular. Okay, one so down. losing two guys. Nice. And then double top from the Marines. Move for two, for one. No okay. problem. Spirit of the Martyr. Yep. Uh, nothing. That's really good too. Uh, so Karen didn't do anything. It fell back. Okay, so over here we've got a Chaos Lord, and he's gonna fire off at that lone Kami Melta sister. So four shots. Uh, Reroll the one. Nope. And looking for threes to wound for two. That's both. Oh. Sorry about that. I'm gonna use those bad dice. Well, it's all good. Passed them both though. So uh, let me just check here for my uh, cultists. So they'll all fire into that lone sister as well. All right, so it looks like everybody except, nope, Champ even gets there. Very nice, okay. So 14. Looking for fours, re-rolling ones. All right, looking for fours. Five of them. All right, feel no pains. Trip sixes. Oh, jeez, oh, man. All right, so that's it for my shooting. Uh, charge phase. Leviathan will charge the saint, and then these uh, marines will charge these guys here. All right, we've got four infernal pistols coming in for no hits. Okay. We are going to use moment of grace here. Uh oh. So after making a hit roll. This five, we're gonna dump out one of our miracle dice to turn that five into a six. Oh boy. All right, so one melts pistol hits, and it wounds. Minus four, isn't it, right? Yeah, you betcha. Ooh, just a regular dude. Okay, so uh, I'll roll Leviathan over here. Ooh, nope, he ain't in, not with four. Um, oh. Four will get you in with the inch. It will, wow. Yeah. Thanks, 8th edition. <laughs> and then over here, 9. They will get in. I'm just going against the wall. Okay. All right, starting here, I got uh, five attacks, looking for threes. And looking for threes to wound for three. That's all. Makes them all. Darn. Uh, continue with the chargers. I got that Leviathan. I am looking for fours now, I think, because I'm actually hurt. Nope, still looking for threes. Beautiful. And strength eight, looking for twos. And I rolled a wound. So for four. Two go through? Or what's is that? AP this anything? is nothing. All no, passed. No problem there. I'm gonna actually uh, spend my last two remaining command points to interrupt you. Okay, I don't have any more actually. You don't have to. No, because. Uh, oh no! Yeah, I can do my lord, and you can interrupt. Yep. So I can interrupt now. Okay. <clears throat> so spend the last two command points so Celestine can fight before the lord punches her out, and we're all going at the lord right here. So ones can't reroll those. And we got four hits. Strength seven. Looking for threes. For two wounds. AP minus three. Come on, four from vulnerable. Ooh. Oh, try that one again. Sorry. No. Flat two. Flat two? Okay, two left. Okay, uh, Chaos Lord attacking back. Looking for threes because of the power fist. And looking for twos. Three. All right, four up in balls coming in hot. Pass one, fail two. Two D three. Oh, five. Oh, five. Can the Saints make some female pains? She cannot. She'll go down for the count. All right, we've got two Seraphim. Oh, there's three Seraphim fighting back. Uh, one is the Superior, so four attacks coming in. It looks like everybody's hitting. And strength three slaps, say, two wounds. This is going to be what kills the Warriors off. No, oh, they're solid. They're good. <laughs> so we fell back out of combat here. We're going to go try to contest the objective, maybe shoot a Sakarin off. These guys moved up. The red wave moved over. 
The Penitents advanced again, but they really kind of shat the bed, so I don't know if they're going to do anything all game. The uh, Retributors over there continued to move because they have that awesome heavy weapons rule where they can move and shoot them. And the Exorcists in the corner uh, shifted over a foot to get some line of sight. So I got a solo melt gun uh, into the Leviathan, looking to hit. We hit, looking to wound, it's a wound. Oh, come on, five up. Nope. Nope. Survey says four damage. That's all you need. Is that all I needed? Yeah, does it explode? Oh, it oh, explodes! No. D3 against my guy for one, sweet. Against these, oh, three. And it might actually be enough to tag check, yourself. Yeah, see if I'm in range there. Do oh, the Leviathans yeah. have an increased blow up radius? Some fancy reactor, is that a thing? No, that was a Derudio. Oh, yeah, that's it. And for two. Wow, All nice right. explosion. Here's the female pains on the sisters. Uh, pass one, that's super cocked. Pass one. So we'll lose a guy. Nice. Uh, on a 5-up, the sister might be able to shoot her bolt pistols. Oh. She cannot. And I'm going to be able to generate a miracle dice for Count Sun in the shooting phase. Yep. So what miracle dice says, it's a 6. That's a nice. melted gun for later. Yeah, that's a damage roll. Okay. So we got um, melted guns and bolt pistols into this tank here. So four melted guns, the infernal pistols, uh, looking like three hits. And uh, one wound if you're T7. Yep. No save. Uh, well, minus four for. Yep, minus four for. Yeah, no wins. save against that. So you got five wounds left. Yep. Let's throw that miracle dice in for the Here it comes. Six. Yeah. Does it explode? Ah, uh, no. So I got four melted pistols coming in. Uh, looks like two hits and one wound. Take out that guy. All right, and the bolt pistols. Two hits. Two wounds. Oh, get some. All righty then. Long bombing we got. The uh, Retributors Heavy Boulders coming in oh, for some cultists. Yeah, he's going to tear those cultists out. The prime target. They've been trying to get them all game, just hovering out of reach. Now they finally get some. Oh, lots of ones, and threes are no good, but five wounds. Five dead. All right, we got the first exorcist, and his heavy bolter will be in range, so he'll do his heavy bolter, as well as his D3 shots. So here's his big cannon for three, six, seven shots. Looking for fours because I moved. But we got the cannonists within range there for the rerolls. So five hits and twos to squish. Uh, there's four dead cultists. Yep. And the heavy bolter for one hit and a wound. The other exorcist, same target, so 3d3. Big boy shots, three, six, seven. Looking for fours. Rerolling these ones for three hits. Twos to squish. Three Ooh. dead cultists. So we got the relic bolt pistol coming in. Four shots hitting on twos. This is strength five. Looking for. Are you T5 on that T4, guy? No. T4. So we got two wounds coming in at minus two. Ooh, come on. Nope. Two damage each. Goes down. There he is. Uh, that's it. Okay, so we're back. Crazy game. Crazy game. Uh, those miracle dice were performing miracles. You know, I don't know if I really <laughs> rolled any miracle dice below below a three. Like everything was four yeah. up, and getting those damage rolls and really guaranteeing that those meltals will be effective really came in handy. Oh yeah. And uh, scissors have some powerful stratagems, and you know they're cheap enough where you can have, you know, I had 18 command points. Yeah, yeah, you were rocking a brigade, right? A brigade, yeah. yeah, which is awesome. Uh, the end of the score for the ITC, the way we, the way you got to score because there was two turns left, we were calling it end of turn four. Uh, Arthur would have maxed out at 36 to 11 for me. Um, scissors did really well. There's really cool stuff. Yeah. Um, 
I, I, we were kind of briefly talking about it. Big turning point was when uh, the Saint rolled in and really held up a lot of my shooting for the next turn. I wasn't able to do anything really. That's right. So she tied up the Leviathan, yeah. a Sakaran, yeah. and then she managed to sit there for two or three turns. Yeah, oh my lord. You know, the next turn I was able to make a big charge through a wall, tie the tank up again. Yeah. And, uh, and she died like she always did, but she can just be such an annoyance. Yeah. Flying yeah. higher. Yeah. Um, no, what do you think? This is the first time you played this game. It was, it was crazy. It was. It really was. Um, yeah. Before I forget, good game. Good game, Bill. Thank you. Uh, yeah, the sisters were awesome. They they had a lot of cool stuff. How do you feel about the AP minus one is zero, and then when you're in range of the Magifier, AP minus two also being zero? That's <laughs> that's super good. Um, unfortunately, majority of my shootings all minus one AP, and as you can see. This is the power armor kid, because <laughs> just made rolls like crazy. Full so. power armor saves. It really did feel yeah. like seventh edition, but you actually got to make full power armor saves, and I liked it. I liked it a lot. Yeah. Um, I look forward to playing more sisters games, trying out the different orders, trying out some new units, and seeing some new models. Yeah, no, it, awesome. It, I definitely think sisters will be uh, quite the showpiece, like collector's army. Definitely. Just some of the previews that I've seen are beautiful models, off the chain. So. Do you no, think you can give Marines a run for their money? I think there are going to be some chapters that will have issues uh, dealing with you. Um, maybe some of the chapters, like if they're really taking advantage of their Devastator Doctrine, they might have the additional to minus yeah. 3 AP. But for the most part, I think most of the shooting Marines have will probably be negated by that minus 1, minus That's 2 AP aura. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. So, yeah, I definitely look forward to seeing them in action. Mm -hmm. So that would be pretty sweet. Um, for those that uh, know, yeah, Arthur is one of our local guys uh, rocking out for EDL 40K. So we've got two leagues wrapping up actually this week. Yep, and there will be playoffs uh, coming up next weekend, I believe, yep. for both leagues. And then you are going to be uh, going to a local tournament tomorrow? That's right. There's, so. a, there's a doubles tournament at Gamer's Den, and I'm playing up with a guy. He's playing mids. I've, I've played against this guy, but I don't think he's ever played a tournament before, and I wanted to bring him in and, and show him the community. Uh, I'm excited. I couldn't play Sisters because they had a rule where we couldn't bring um, anything over a month that's new. Oh, okay. So we're rocking the Eldar. Everyone's oh, nice. Favorite. Everyone's, everyone's favorite. Yeah. Um, and I think I'm just going to try to go for Best Painted. Awesome. Yeah. Very nice. Well, good luck on your event tomorrow. And again, thanks for coming. And look forward to more games, man. Definitely. Thanks, Bill. See you in the playoffs, buddy. Catch you guys later.